Gold Point, just south of San Susi, otherwise known as Sydney's Velodrome. I've come down here at low tide, uh, first thing in the morning, and so far it looks pretty quiet, and it's also freaking cold. Not much of a plan today, I've been thinking about it a lot, but I, uh, I have a little plan. So I hope you enjoy this little excursion into Dolls Point. I'm probably only really expecting flathead today, but if I can get anything, I'll be happy. Oh my god, it is cold, it is windy. So I've got to try and I cast with the wind. I'm gonna use this 30 gram metal and uh, I put a little octopus skirt on the uh, on the hook. How I rigged this is I've just basically looked at Andy's YouTube and do a little loop knot at the top and I snell it onto the hook. I don't know why I put a, a trailer on it, I just did. Here we go. There's a cormorant or something out there. So the first half of the day hasn't worked out very well. Nothing, nothing biting on the jigs. Uh, but the main, the main reason I wanted to really give it a go is I got a few new sort of shore jig type things in. Uh, I want to work on reviewing some of this stuff that I've gotten in online. But before I can really give you guys a good recommendation as to whether they're good or not, I need to fish them and and really. Uh, get a feel for if they're actually going to catch anything. So over these next few trips, I'll probably be trying to work with these shore jigs a bit more because I really like the idea of uh, the shore jigging, but I have no idea how to work the technique. So I'm going to run run with it a little bit longer and uh, and see if I can't crack the code, and then I'll be able to recommend whether or not these jigs are any good. So I can see a seabird just working something on the surface right near me now. In fact, there's two of them come in. And uh, I might just have another quick cast while there's a bit of action. But other than that, I'm going to switch over to my light setup and probably throw hard bodies while it's reasonably still autumn. Okay. Out of there. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on. Ooh, big brim. Or a trevally. Nice trevally. Woo! First Trevally. Jesus, I'm probably fishing way too tight to drag.
Oh my goodness. Look at that. A nice little trevally. Holy cow. Having a grunt too. Wow, it has been it has been a very hard morning to try and get a fish. Finally. Nice little trevally. I'm not going to waste too much time getting the big camera set up. Woo! Nice. He's probably a good 30, 35. This is my first trevally on lure, actually. It's ready to go already. There it goes. Wow, I might actually have to get the camera set up now. Stinky fish. Stinky fish, my goodness. I got it on this nice little, tiny little white grub as well. It's great. Well, hopefully there's another one around. And I can show you guys some actual trevally action. So these are little, uh, these are little curl tails that I've got off AliExpress actually. I always like their little white white curl tail grubs whenever I can get them. And I think this is a pack of, pack of 12 for like a two dollars or something. You can see why they're liking this spot. There's a huge amount of current that's running past this groin. So I can just sit out of the current and wait for things to cruise past and then just smash them. There's another one. There's another one. I get that one on film this time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did he come off? Oh, it came off. I was too busy checking if my camera was on. It freaking came off. Okay. Juice you again. Alright, oh, I gotta get going. I gotta get going. It's 11 o'clock. Yes, another fish. There we go. Oh, he's pulling, pulling good drag. Another trevally, I think. Where are you? There it is. is he out of the rock, in the rocks or out of the rocks? Out of the rocks, man. Oh, it came off again. One more time, one more time. 